People want to create games, that's why you have game jams, where you have two or three days to make a game. But why don't we have a game engine jam? Are you saying that it's not possible to write down an entire 3D game engine from scratch with a functional editor in less than, like, 30 hours? Well, there's a reason why you don't see a game engine jam. A game engine is to be very hard to develop and involves a lot of things to acknowledge. But is it impossible? Well, the title of this video is definitely not clickbait. In other words, yes, I accepted this challenge and wrote an entire game engine in less than 30 hours. And this is the result. And what you're seeing right now is a time lapse of the entire development and I added comments in the bottom to explain what I'm doing for those who are interested. It's also important to mention that I wrote that around 8 months ago and this is not my main game engine, that if you follow me you may know that I'm creating and almost releasing to the public. You may be thinking, why in the world you decided to make a game engine in such a, a short amount of time? Isn't that reinventing the wheel or not necessary at all? Well, I have three reasons why. First one is for fun. Trust me, I have a lot of fun doing this kind of crazy and apparently impossible stuff. It makes me happy, so I will probably keep doing it forever. The second reason is because, as I said, I'm actually creating a serious and time-consuming game engine that I plan to release for free in the following weeks. I will not show off or talk about it in this video, but what is important for you to know is that 8 months ago, when I did this challenge, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to do, to add in my serious game engine, such as an editor with a cool interface and Python scripting, that I simply had no experience in doing it before. And I am personally a very kinesthetic learner. In other words, if I want to learn something most of the time or all the time, I'd rather grab that thing to do, try things out, fail a bunch of times and experiment new things by trying it out instead of grab a book or 10 hours course, sit down and read or watch that first. And don't guess me wrong, I do read books, documentations and watch courses. I just don't start from this point. I try things first and then I figure out why I did that, why things work and why things don't. This is very personal and I know that a lot of people just don't learn that way and that's okay. This is just how my brain works. So I decided to take that as a cool opportunity to learn these new skills to later on apply on my main game engine. Had to write a new one because this learning method is cool, but when it comes to the programming, well, it also means that the code will be full of mistakes and bad smells because I was learning on the fly. So it's just better to keep that nasty code away from the production branch. The final reason why I did that is because I really wanted to see how many time it takes to create a game engine once you already know how to do that. And I have to say that I was surprised with the results. Back then, I didn't have a lot of experience with user interfaces and embedding Python. Just had some notions on how to do that, but when it comes to OpenGL, handling, model loading, scene graph, integrate a physics engine and so on, that topic is something that I'm pretty comfortable with and I didn't take long to do that part. So if you watch carefully the time lapse, you will see that I took around 8 or 10 hours to finish the engine itself and I spent all the rest, like 70% of the, that 30 hour time, actually figuring out how to invent Python and mainly learning IMDUI for the user interface. And that's amazing, because today, at the time I'm recording this video, 8 months later, I'm already very comfortable and familiar with IMGUI and way better at embedding Python than I was before, and I feel like, because of that, if I had to do this challenge again, uh, I'd probably come up with a much better, solid and feature-rich engine in a day. 
I mean, if I start working like 7 a.m. and put the deadline to midnight, I think I can do it now. Actually, leave in a comment if you want me to redo this challenge someday or even actually host a game engine gen. That would be crazy for sure. It's common to hear all across the internet that game engine development is something complicated and time consuming, that it would take up to 20 years for a hundred people team to do something actually interesting. Well, that may be true in some cases like Unreal Engine 4, but it depends 100% on what you want to do with the engine. There's a lot of game studios out there that come up with a new game made using a in-house game engine, probably even made during the game development process or a week before and they just iterate over that during the creation of the project to add new features, fix and improve stuff. Some games don't even have a detached standalone game engine by default. It's even common to see a game born in before its game engine, like a studio create a game write the code necessary to handle and run that on the fly and after a few games produce it using more or less the same evolving code base they just said all right now we have enough code to call it a game engine so the amount of time you will spend doing a game engine relies on two main things your objective for the project what do you want it to have and be used for and most important your current skills. Now, something very important that I need to address. I'm not saying that create a game engine is easy or that everyone can do it in such a short amount of time. If you never created something like that before and you want to start today, don't expect to have a working engine, even a simple one, in a week or so, even if you are a kinesthetic learner as I am. Because what actually takes time here is learn. OpenGL, DirectX, Vulkan is definitely not easy to learn and understand, especially if you have no previous experience with graphics. Math for game engine development is key and not trivial. If you don't know linear algebra, vectors, matrices and so on very well, it's very likely that you will struggle a lot on your way to make a game engine. Not even talking about the programming itself related data structures, pointers, memory optimizations, and so on. That learning part takes a lot of time, from weeks to literally years. At least, it took a while to figure that out for me. And before that, you will not be able to archive this kind of result in such a short amount of time. But once you've learned all the necessary skills, then it's a piece of cake. In a nutshell, the experience was amazing. I had a great time and in a short amount of time, I learned all the foundations about IMUI and Python embedding to later on apply in my main game engine. Awesome. By the way, if you watch this video until here, I do want to invite you to join my Discord server. There's a lot of cool people there and we do talk a lot about game dev and engine development. I will leave the link in the description if you're interested. This engine that you saw the development in this particular video was not published anywhere because, well, it's a 30 hour one man project. Uh, it's amazing and have a lot of cool features, but of course, it's missing many others and the main reason. Honestly, I don't want to give support to it, since I already have my main game engine and again, that was a project that I made to learn. By the way, I'm almost releasing the first public release of my main game engine, so stay tuned. The alpha version is already available for my Discord members, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. So that's it for this video, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below, I hope you enjoy it and I see you in the next time.